What is going on guys and welcome to the second Inform Karim Benzema play review. Now as you can see next to me has got also Inform Cabela and Inform Menez. Maybe I'll get them out, I don't know, I didn't have so much fun with them so take that as a hint guys. But yeah, anyway, here is Karim Benzema second Inform, an awesome looking card. He's got 86 pace, 89 shots, 78 passing, 86 dribbling, 36 defending, 79 physical. You know he has 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves with medium low work rates. Now his in game stats are very impressive, perfect for Benzema, perfect for a striker. He's got 92 attack positioning, 93 finishing, 87 shot power and 89 ball control. Now from first in form Benzema was absolutely amazing, I don't know if you've tried him or not. And you know he deserves his in form again, 2 goals I think it was a few days ago for Real Madrid. A lot of people say he's underrated, I think he's finally getting that reckon, well... He's always been, you know, everyone knows he's a talented player, but maybe because it's like Ronaldo, Bale and whatnot there, he do not quite get the credit he deserves, but he's getting it now. But anyway, talk about the card then. And Benzema, you know, what you see is what you get really. He's an absolute quality finisher. Inside the box, left foot, right foot, his four star weak foot's fantastic, but his finishing finish shots inside the box are power shots. He will score you a lot of goals. He's a great finisher, really fun to use. Again, his pace isn't slow. He actually does feel about 86, maybe 88 pace, but because he's so well, he's got such good dribbling, such good ball control, you know, his pace feels a lot better, I think, as well. You can see here some good skills. Four star skills is always handy, but yeah, his pace he feels are very fast. As I said, his dribbling's great. You know, he's a tap position, you'll see a couple of times he comes in for rebounds and he just managed to get those sweaty, crappy goals, which are shit to score, but I tell you what, you pay the money for your striker to score those goals and Benzema will get you those goals. You know, his long shots from outside the box, the first clip you just saw there, you know, his finesse long shots were absolutely amazing. I ended up scoring one, I mean, the keepers ended up pulling off awesome saves, but yeah, don't be put off from 25 yards up to shoot with this guy. You know, as I was saying... Uh, his, his passing is okay it's so so actually it's got 87 short passing so his short pass is actually quite good his long passes aren't the best but you know to be honest with you I wouldn't pass for this guy I'd just set him on instructions get him behind and I'd have a striker that can play the ball to him or any wingers that can play the ball to him and get him to run onto it and he will score you a lot of goals but yeah we'll go to the pros and cons and as you can see in the cons section there aren't many cons for this player I wanted to pick up more I wanted to advise people more but yeah Pros, he's finishing, excellent finisher, get him inside the box or anywhere outside it really, you know, finesse shot, power shot, it doesn't matter, he will score goals. Off the ball runs, I found him had a lot of great runs for me actually, you know, it made it easy for over the top through ball. Obviously you can press LB and DRY if you're on Xbox, you know, it doesn't really matter. And the player will make a run, but Benzema already made him, and I suppose that links into the attack positioning. Finesse long shots are very good, his pace is good, you know, he does feel very fast and his dribbling is fantastic, he keeps the ball close to his feet which helps with his pace. However... Cons heading, yeah, he missed quite a couple of easy headers for me. That was disappointing, but then again, not many people cross on this game. And his balance, which affected his dribbling and pace slightly, you know. He did get moved off the ball sometimes, well, pathetically, to be honest with you. But it doesn't affect him that bad, to be fair. I mean, he is quick and he has got good dribbling. And to be honest with you, you can normally get away from defenders. But balance, you know, to be picky, it is a con. Other than that, guys, this card is... Just what you see is what you get really, you know, you pay, I think it's one and a half million he's at now, and you know, that is basically what you're going to get from him. He's definitely better than his first in form, but I'd wait till his price went down if I was going to get him. But yeah guys, um, if you've enjoyed this review, please like, comment and subscribe. To be honest with you, I'll probably end up bringing out um, second in form Kevin De Bruyne over Menes and Cabela. I haven't really enjoyed playing with them, but other than that guys, thank you for watching and have a very, very nice day.